Welcome. My name is Jenna Evans, and I'm a part of the Composer Specialist team. In this video, you will learn about connecting Workday to Salesforce. There are several reasons that a business might want to do this, but let's begin with talking through what these connectors do, and then we'll get into the reasons why we use them. And finally, we'll show you how to get these two systems connected live. First, what are these connectors and when would we use them? In general, you use connectors in Composer to integrate with data and systems that you want to connect. They are pre-built, easy to use, and abstract away the technical details involved when connecting two target systems. You would use the Workday connector when you want to automate employee information into Salesforce or another target system. And in this video, you'll hear me talking about flows. And that's because once connected, data in Workday will flow to data in Salesforce through these connectors. So in what situation might you want to build a flow with these two particular systems, Workday and Salesforce? A common reason that you would want to connect is to automate the flow of employee information from Workday into a record contact within Salesforce. And we're going to use Northern Trail Outfitters, a retailer, to show you what this might look like live. The HR team at Northern Trail Outfitters, or NTO, uses Workday to maintain and manage employees. And the sales team at NTO uses Salesforce to maintain and manage their contacts. But NTO wants to ensure that every time a new employee record is added to Workday, that same employee information is added as a contact in Salesforce. And to eliminate the manual tasks that the HR and sales teams are currently performing, they want to achieve a near real-time integration. So NTO will use MuleSoft's Composer to create that integration and automatically sync employees in Workday with contacts in Salesforce. Specifically, the example flow will perform the following tasks. Find a new employee that's created in Workday and create a new contact with the same employee information in Salesforce. So let's see what this looks like live. Here is where you will create a new flow. Start the flow by adding a new connection. Here you can see all of the systems that you can connect to and pull data from. In this case, we'll need to authenticate into Workday, where the information about the new employee will live. You do this by creating a connection that you will be able to reuse in later flows. This lands you in the canvas and you're ready to start. The first step always defines the trigger or the event that starts the flow. In this case, we'll want to kick off the flow every time a new employee or worker is added in Workday. You can pull in all of the fields of that employee or just the ones you want to work with in your flow. In this case, I'm selecting first and last name, phone number, email address, and business title. And by checking the sample outlet on the right, you can ensure that you've selected all the fields that you wanted. Now you'll build out the next step in your flow. Here you will define the target system, and in this case, Salesforce, so we can automate the process of importing new employees as contacts. In the same way you created a connection to Workday, you will also securely connect to Salesforce. You'll need to authenticate the connection even for the Salesforce account in which Composer is installed. Choose the action you are looking to make. In this case, create a new record and define that record as a contact. Click on Add Optional Fields and select the same fields you did within your Workday connection. First and last name, email, phone number, and business title and we'll then map those worker fields in Workday to their corresponding contact fields within the Sales Cloud flows. Click Save and you're all set up. But before activating your flow, make sure you test it to see that there are no errors and that how you configured it is running properly. So let's put it in test mode. Then I'll go off and I'll add a new employee into Workday. This is the event that's gonna trigger my flow. And in this case, it's Max the Mule. Now we can swap over to my contacts tab in Salesforce and voila, I see Max the Mule was added as a new contact in Salesforce with his name, email address, phone number, and business title. Now your flow is ready to activate. To recap, in this example, you used out of the box connectors for Workday and Salesforce. But if your use case involved a different system, you would still follow the exact same guided process to get started. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to check out our additional resources for MuleSoft Composer. Have a great rest of your day.